Castro's beard. For more than 50 years they were banned by the US, but not anymore. The announcement was made on Cuban state television. Some relaxation on trade between the two countries. And it's easier for Americans to come to the island, although crucially, it's still not so easy for Cubans to leave. Rum will be more readily available too. The bars of Havana toasting last month's decision by Presidents Obama and Castro to put relations between the two countries on a more normal footing. This is going to benefit us in many ways, in the economic sense. There's going to be more of an opening. The lives of people will improve. Relations between the two countries have been troubled for decades. The Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962 bringing the world to the brink of nuclear war. But then, last month, Barack Obama said the time was right for change. Today, the United States of America is changing its relationship with the people of Cuba. This is high-stakes diplomacy, but what will it mean for the daily lives of the Cuban people? Well, I think that that's the key question, because after all, that's what the policy is geared to do. Uh, for families who've been separated for many years uh, because of the policies of the United States government, this means increased contact, this means reconciliation of families and the reconciliation between two divided people. This is change, but change on a relatively small scale.